Hello everybody. So I'm basically just doing this video to show what I'm doing against Mr. Panda Bear. So I'm using Luca up front, um, Phalang second, which is just loaded with fire weapons. And she has a static uh, double, make sure I use the right limit break there. She has double stats on this event, so it's uh, 1.5. Up stats on this event so it's highly advised to use her and Balder just as a healer um, Chun-Li because he is decent uh, weakness against water and then Cannon because she is soon to be awakened and is a decent fire character so I've been working on her recently as well um, as far as the panda goes he does targets the enemy with the lowest HP so whichever one of your characters has the lowest HP is who he is going to target the most and apply earth wound effects to Aesir, Therian, and Elves as well as sleep too with his auto skill so you'll notice my balder falling asleep sometimes but it's not really that big of a deal because it, it, it the panda's gonna die before it becomes an issue um and the crystals are, the front melee crystals apply magic absor absorption field to the panda and itself. So that means it's going to absorb your magic attacks. And the back ranged row crystals do attack reflection barrier and restore HP to self. So there's just self healing crystals that will uh, reflect your uh, regular attacks back at it instead of magical attacks. But my basic strategy is to just hit him with fire. Keep my characters alive and hit him with fire. And now that I can watch the limit break here, make sure it uses the meteors. Because that is just like a crystal crusher. It will take out Earth Crystals really fast. And once the, the Magic Absorption Crystals are gone, then you can just hit them with whatever you want and they don't have to worry about it. And let's take a look at the damage dealt. I did the most at 1, 5, 2, 6, 3, 4, 5, and the other two people had just a little bit less than that, so it was about the same, pretty close. Not too bad. 